تحياتي الحارة لكم جميعا Welcome to Learn Arabic Online with Lubna Dumayan Today we will be counting from 20 to 99 in Arabic These numbers are actually very easy to remember as they are basically 3 through 10 in plural form I hope that you have already memorized the numbers 1 through 10 from the previous lesson as a good student to be able to continue with this course. If not, no big deal. Go back and check. I will be here. So, 10 10 drops its tamar buta, the tight ta, to receive the suffix un preceded by damma. So, un uh, is a suffix of plural. For example, muhajir, immigrant, and its plural is muhajirun, with the suffix un preceded by u, immigrants. Fa is Victor Fa izun the plural regular plural or Mohandis engineer Mohandisun the plural So this is the pattern of plural form So for ثلاثة, three, أربعة, خمسة, ستة, سبعة, تمانية, تسعة, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They will all get rid of their tita, tamarbuta, to have the pre the suffix un preceded by tamma. So we will have ثلاثون, thirty, أربعون, forty, خمسون. 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90. So the nouns they modify are singular, accusative, with no nation. These numbers have no feminine version. So if I say 50 trees, tree, shajara, shajara, khamsuna, 50, shajaratan, singular, in the, accusa in the um, accusative case, with 10 wind, double, fatha, qalam, qalam, pen, qalam. 50 pens pen قلم masculine noun 50 قلما so 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 are invariable they are not affected by the gender of the modified noun the counted noun Okay, so how do we construct 23, 44, 89, 99, etc.? We use the digits 1 through 9 along with the tens number together with w and in between as a connection. So w and so 21, wahid, it means one, wa and ishroon, ishroon, 20. So you have a one and 20, 21. Ithnan, two and wa, ishroon, two and 20, 22. And same thing for the others. 
let's say ثلاثة و ثلاثون three and thirty thirty three أربعة و أربعون forty four four and forty خمسة و عشرون twenty five five and twenty ستة و تسعون ninety six six and ninety سبعة و ثمانون eighty seven seven and eighty ثمانية و ستون sixty eight eight and sixty تسعة و عشرون twenty nine nine and twenty simple so واحد و عشرون twenty one has a feminine counterpart which is واحد is masculine since these are invariable we will just work the gender on the digits واحد the feminine is واحدة we add the تا مربوطة واحدة or أحد another word for واحد may mean only or واحد أحد إحدى 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 may be used as a feminine of واحد also it's okay for that and same thing applies to إثنان but first let's check some examples with واحد وعشرون twenty one أحد و عشرون or واحد و عشرون they are similar طيار طيار pilot طيار pilot طيار is a masculine noun so we say أحد و عشرون طيارا twenty one Pilots. So, Tayyar, the counted noun, agrees with the number in gender. Masculine, masculine. And it has to be in the accusative with nonation. Double, Fatha. And for uh, uh, to nonate the Ra, we add the long vowel, Alif, with two Fathas. طائرة طائرة airplane طائرة will be the modified noun airplane so we we say for twenty one airplanes إحدى وعشرون طائرة or واحدة وعشرون طائرة so there is an agreement in gender, feminine, feminine, and same thing applies to the to اثنان twenty two. اثنان وعشرون جنديا جندي. Soldier. Soldier, جندي. So since Jundi is masculine, the noun, the number, will be also masculine. So 22 soldiers, إثنان وعشرون جنديا. كلمة, كلمة is a feminine noun since it ends with the تا مربوطة. It means word. كلمة. So, اثنتان. This is for 
the feminine dual. Ten. So for masculine, it's N. And feminine, ten. So we say ten ten wa ishruna kalimatan. So the unit numbers for one and two agree with the noun just as they do on their own when we say one boy waladun wahid wahid masculine masculine one boy one girl bintun wahida feminine feminine for the numbers 3 through 9, when used in combination with the tens, the principle of reverse agreement applies just as it does when these numbers are used by themselves. So, with this example, ثلاثتن و أربعون رجلاً 43 men. So normally we say, if I say three men, three men, so three will be in the feminine, ثلاثة تو رجال. So رجل, masculine, number feminine. Or for three women. Women, nisa. It's a broken plural of imra'a. 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 A woman. Imra'atun. So nisa'un is the plural. We say thalathu. The reverse agreements. Different opposite genders. Thalathu. Masculine, nisa, feminine. So for thalathun wa arba'una rajulan, 43 men. So thalatha is feminine, rajul is masculine. Here, majalla, majalla, magazine. Majalla. Magazine. This is a, of course, a feminine noun ending with tamar buta. So, if you want to say forty-three magazines, forty-three magazines. So, thalathun, thalatha drops its tamar buta to become a masculine. Number thalathun wa arba'un. The arba'un, khamsun, situn, we don't worry, worry about because they are invariable. We worry just about the number, the digits. So thalathun wa arba'un majallatan. So the reverse agreement. We have just the problem with thamaniya that uh, behaves differently. When, when it's modifying a feminine noun. For example, here, sa'a, it means hour. Thamanin wa arba'una sa'atan. 48 hours. So, thamanin uh, drops its ya and ta and it carries a double kasra in the genitive form. So it becomes thamanin wa arba'una sa'atan. But when it's modifying a masculine counted noun, we have no problem. Thamaniyatun wa thalathuna qamisan. 38 
shirt. Shirt is kamis. Kamis is masculine. So, thamaniya tun wa thalathuna kamisan. Let's check uh, these compound numbers in sentences to check some grammar. Qara'tu, I read, qara'a, the verb qara'a conjugated in the past tense, qara'tu, thalathan wa ishrina maqalatan. Let's check the, um, count, the, the counted noun, al-ismu al-ma'dood, maqalatan, maqala, article, this is a feminine noun, so we will use the reverse agreement. So the number will be masculine. So thalath, it will drop its tamarbuta. But here it's in the accusative, both of them, because it is the object of the verb qara'a. So thalatha becomes thalathan with tanween. Ishreen is when it's uh, nominative, it's with u, un preceded by u. This is in the nominative case. When it's in the accusative or genitive, we use kasra followed by long vowel e and nun. In. So qara tu thalathan wa ishrina maqalatan. Here, second example. Qara'a, huwa qara'a, he read. Ishrina, kitaban. Here again, ishrina is in the accusative because it's the object of qara'a. So it will take a kasra followed by long vowel ya and nun. Instead of ishrun in the nominative, we'll have ishrin in the accusative. Kitaban, kitab. Uh, is singular um, singular masculine but it doesn't matter since Ishreen is invariable it won't affect it so qara'tu I read an an about an is a preposition uh, that puts whatever follows in the accusative with kasra in the genitive sorry with kasra so we say an wahidin here we have kasratain uh, tanwin in the genitive case wahidin wa ishrin also in the genitive case zaiman i read about 21 leaders so when when the compound number is preceded by a preposition it will be in the genitive case Kasra tain and for Ishreen, Kasra with Ya and Noon. And that's it. Keep counting in Arabic. Until then, Ma'as Salama.